Welcome back to the Express at Granville Island for our special on the Push International Performing Arts Festival. This year, Dances for a Small Stage is returning for its 23rd installment. And nobody knows how to do big things in small spaces better than these guys. Kim Tucson rehearses for her solo performance at this year's Dances for a Small Stage, a local, independent, contemporary dance show. When I have a brand. Well, I love um, being able to blend all the different forms of dance and theater that I've studied over the years. And so I'm really interested in finding a way to express myself through voice and theater and dance and movement and all kinds of dance. With my eyelashes all Kim is an exciting artist who combines a lot of different kinds of dance and she has a huge background of, of dance but many different styles. The only person that's given me stuff uh, are oh. these people. Okay. So Billy Julianne is great. She's super flamboyant and really like energetic and happy and there's like an incredible amount of uh, freedom to really, she's just like, just do what you do, just like do it and like, you know, freestyle it until you find it. Being a girl it's a risk for me as a producer to invite artists to perform and create work for the small stage. I guess that is the, also the most exciting thing about my job is I never know what's going to happen. Like anything can sort of occur. I flip when a fellow sends me flowers. I, I love performing because I love sharing. So it's really good to have a witness you know, to what you're doing and get feedback and and sometimes you don't even realize what you're doing and that says something to somebody else that you don't even realize that you're actually saying, which is pretty exciting too. It's like, oh wow, cool. In Vancouver, I'm Kendall Harris for The Express. In the home of a brave and free, free, free man. Tickets to see Dances for a Small Stage are only available at the door. Shows run January 26th to the 28th at the Legion on Commercial Drive. Now we've got more dancing and more music of the push variety up next. Now this is a band that doesn't rehearse, ever. They're 100% improvisational. And in fact, they'd never even played together before until their first push performance. Meet JP, Shanto, and Jesse. You've likely never heard or heard of this musical trio before. They don't have a name, and prior to this performance at the Push Festival's opening gala, they've never played together as a group, nor did they rehearse any of these songs, because this is spontaneous music in its truest form. It's, I think it's the true nature of creativity to be spontaneous. And all ideas come from some level of spontaneity. It's hard to even describe what genre of music this is. Free jazz, avant-garde, noise. They don't even know. But that's what makes this art form liberating, they say. You always feel like you're searching for something musically, and it, it's kind of an exciting form of music that is not necessarily appreciated as much as, as it probably should be. One thing's for certain, they're a band of contradictions. The matching suits say conformity, but the music is anything but uniform. And then there are the instruments which are traditional, but the sounds are twisted and manipulated by modern guitar pedals. If you're a, if you're a musical purist, you, uh, you'd be shaking your head and upset in some way, but 
it's uh, it's exciting as a musician to try to access some kind of new sonic territory and, and express yourself in a way that hasn't been done before. And on a night like this, self-expression is contagious. For these dancers, the trio's music proved to be a perfect fit to their routine. I wish, I wish that happened more often in life. People just responding to things that happen that aren't necessarily common. As for the rest of the crowd, the response was slightly muted. Many didn't really know what to think, and that's fine with them because it's the Push Festival, and on this night, artistic expression trumps public perception. I'm Tim Chung in Vancouver for The Express. Little fun fact for you, two of the members of that group also play in a seven-piece instrumental rock band called Fond of Tigers. Music, dance, art. This festival, like the name says, is all about pushing the boundaries of all those things. And we have more on how they do that up next. After the break, City of Dreams. It involves creating a work that is, in a sense, a poetic map of the city. Zirka. They're all in contact with each other doing acrobatics. It's quite sensual and exciting. The Express. This is your local voice. Community programming on Shaw has been generously sponsored in part by... Hairstyling and color services for Shaw TV. Provided by The Lounge Hair Studio. Loungehairstudio.com late, Chuck? Tired? Wiped out the big game? And it could have been a lot worse, Chuck. Well, I thought there wouldn't be anything under there. Didn't you think to call BC One Call? They're the one place to call to find out where not to dig. Before you dig, call BC One Call at 1-800-474-6886. It's nighttime in a kitchen just like yours. All is quiet. Or is it? The North American House Hippo is found throughout Canada and the eastern United States. House hippos are very timid creatures and are rarely seen, but they will defend their territory if provoked. They come out at night to search for food, water, and materials for their nests. The favorite foods of the house hippo are chips, raisins, and the crumbs from peanut butter on toast. They build their nests in bedroom closets, using lost mittens, dryer lint, and bits of string. The nests have to be very soft and warm. House hippos sleep about 16 hours a day. That looked really real, but you knew it couldn't be true, didn't you? That's why it's good to think about what you're watching on TV and ask questions, kind of like you just did. A message from Concerned Children's Advertisers. Welcome back to the Express at Granville Island, where we're celebrating Vancouver pushing 125. To be pushed is to be moved, to laughter, to tears, even to anger. The result, a shared transformative experience. Well, this year, in honor of the city's 125th anniversary, we have what we call a 125th anniversary series. And it's a series of pieces that explore ideas of cityness. Coming up this week, we have the opening of City of Dreams, which involves a British artists coming into town and working with a bunch of local artists and exploring the city over the last two weeks and creating a work that is, in a sense, a poetic map of the city. Hello, and welcome to a brand new form of entertainment called a pod play. We also have a piece called Pod Plays. It's a walkabout with uh, pod plays. It's a sort of a sound and text a piece that accompanies you as you walk about the city. It's by a local company, New World Theatre. Fantastic, fantastic company. It's about new work, commissioned work. It's also about introducing to Vancouver audiences critics acclaimed work from various places in the world. The park should be on your right-hand side. If it's a clear day, you should see yourself walking towards the mountains. The 125th anniversary series is part of the seventh edition of the Push International Performing Arts Festival. Also part of that is an Australian company that uses theatre and projections, lighting and sound to create their signature Circa piece. Mm -hmm. 
Circa is a circus group coming up from Brisbane, Australia, and they've been here before in the Push Festival, 2008. They came up with a critically acclaimed show. It sold out. So they do really exciting acrobatics. It's me a main, basically. So it's they're all in contact with each other, doing acrobatics. It's quite sensual and exciting. Very fast moving, very well timed. There's a lot of music and projection that's happening. So it's multimedia. It's newest circus at its best. The Push Festival features local and international acts that push the boundaries of theatre. Circa is similar to what Canadians are used to with Cirque du Soleil. It's taking kind of the most gritty parts of Cirque du Soleil and putting them on stage so you're not necessarily going to see a trapeze act or any of those big scary contraptions. It's really the artists working together and using each other's bodies as the equipment. Like many circus shows, you can find a narrative if you really want to, or you can just enjoy the experience that dance, theatre and multimedia together can bring. But it's very much just about watching them and how they're performing and what they're expressing. Within all of their vignettes, there's definitely a story being told between the two performers, so I think you'll be experiencing stories throughout the evening. Push is a performing arts festival, so Circa really is just finding that middle ground. There's multimedia in it, there's a little bit of dance, I guess you would call it. There is the narrative of the story, so we're really about finding the best of the performing arts and bringing it to Vancouver, and Circa does just that. And in Vancouver's 125th year, Circa is bound to impress Vancouver audiences. The city is discovering itself and discovering its identity about after the Olympics, figuring out where we stand on the global page really. So it's a great place to be, it's a great time to be in Vancouver and to be creating our own stories together as a city. I'm Erin Shaw in Vancouver for The Express. Circa's show has already moved on, but there's still lots to catch. And that's where we're shining today's Express Spotlight. Living somewhere between East Hastings and a dream, gutter punk idealist Joe Dick decides it's time to drag his old band, Hardcore Logo, back together for one last ill-fated tour, presented by the November Theatre. Peter Panties is a radical reimagining of the Peter Pan story, a dreamscape where Peter and Macbeth drink lattes, the Lost Boys hang with Grissom and Willows from CSI, and Tinkerbell and Wendy duke it out at Skull Rock. Datamatics features a renowned visual artist and composer who presents a live audiovisual concert experience. Akita has been hailed by critics as one of the most radical and innovative artists of the contemporary electronic music scene. The Push Festival runs until February 6th at venues around the city. That's it for today's Express. I'm Johanna Ward, and on behalf of all of us, thanks so much for watching. We're going to leave you with one last look. This is Floating out of the UK, and we'll see you next time. This year was my name, my grandmother, and uh, she was always really, really very encouraging uh, towards me, and I found her to be a really big inspiration. Uh, she's no longer here anymore, uh, but even though she's no longer with us, there's still a really big um, connection between me and her. Uh, she uh, was a socialist, Marxist, pacifist, communist. <laughs> and she belonged to Pensioners for Peace, and she delivered meals on wheels all the way around the island until she was 82 years old. And she used to live at home with us and she used to watch the wrestling on a Saturday afternoon and she really enjoyed smoking the odd cigarette as well. <laughs> and these are some of the things that we found in her room after she'd gone. Now there are some <laughs> really great photos in here, so we thought you might like to have a look. <laughs> Maybe start one off over here. <laughs> Take as long as you like and pass them around and then I'll collect them in at the end. So. We've also brought this with us so you can hold her as well. <laughs>